In Johnson County, students have spent nearly a year working on a project that's not only building their future, but also their community. The Now Casey's Ray Daniel has the story. Here at the Olathe Advanced Technical Center, students have been working nonstop on a pretty unique project. It's hot, I'm not going to lie, it's getting hot in there. A golf cart. I saw the cart when we first brought it in when it was all white and it was dirty and just a mess and seeing it now is, is a pretty cool accomplishment. Months later, it's been transformed. We have put a three inch lift on it, um, new wheels and tires, and then we're waiting for the roof to get done so we can add some extra LED lights. The new transportation hot rod will assist people with disabilities getting to various events throughout the Olathe district. We start working on it. We're like, oh, it's a great, let's just get it done. But then we start working on it and we knew what was going to happen. We felt the impact that it was going to leave on us and we didn't really worry about the grade. We we're just like, let's do something nice for the community. It's a project that's preparing students for their futures. I've been getting my um, certification for the last uh, two years. Um, coming up and here in May, I should have a full OSHA certification. Even at a high school level that we've been given an opportunity like we have. And also leaving their mark, students are hoping to create an even more inclusive community. It's important to make sure that even in like out of school or whatever, that everybody has easy access. Um, and that was the main driving force behind the project. In Olathe, Ray Daniel. It should be the kindness in everyone's heart to do this for other people. For the Now KC. That's pretty cool. The Olathe Foundation and EPR properties helped fund that project. Golf carts expected to be completed and ready to use by the end of May.